Hi, Hiram here. I got a comment from the Bebopper on my video that I did yesterday, the one about uh, the anodized aluminum tea kettle pot boil test, where I tested it on the West Wind stove stand and the Trangia Mini that I was going to put inside. I had said that when I bought this, the West Wind, I thought this would be really cool, a nice stand, because it's basically just three pieces of metal, came apart, folded flat, lightweight, this weighs, what, 81 grams, or 2.85 ounces, or 0.178 pounds, so basically I thought this would be a no-brainer, it would be easy, it would be simple, and it would be a good stove or stand, but it turned out that it's kind of slow, I think, and I had said because of this place here, which is where the burner sets on there like that, and the distance from the top of the stove to the bottom of the pot is only about three-quarter inches, and I think the sweet spot is about one inch, but anyway... The Bebopper said, with the tri-plate stand, put it over the burner. I came across the design in the early 80s, and remember it was confusing until it was demonstrated. The burner sits on the ground. You obviously have a copy of the original, and your given instructions are wrong. Ignore them. <coughs> so, this is the small Trangia. Not to be confused with the larger military one. Oh, see the difference in size. But when you go to try to put the stand over the top of this, it won't fit. But if I flip it over, flip the stand upside down, then these slots will fit in just like that so I can put it there so what I'm going to do here real quick is just do a test on this and see how this does work now with the burner sitting on the tabletop from the top of the burner to the bottom of the pot is now inch and three quarter which I'm not sure this could go either way so, I have two fluid ounces of alcohol in here. Let's get that started to make a bloom, get it into a bloom. I have two cups of water in the tea kettle. It was 60 degrees, but now it's gone up to 61, so we'll just have to live with that. And it's two cups. 61 degrees. The room temperature is 75 degrees Fahrenheit. Humidity is 73 percent again. <clears throat> okay, it's getting ready to bloom. I do like getting these comments and suggestions and things from people. A lot of it makes for some good ideas of things to do. I'm not sure what this one will do, but that's what we're here to find out. Okay, I think that's, yep, got a bloom going there. Here's the two cups of water sitting at 61 degrees, and let's see where this goes. There we have 210, 211, 212 at 455. I'll be darned. Okay. When I did this test yesterday with the pot stand, what I thought was right side up, which was what was shown to me, shown to me rather on the uh, ad and stuff where I bought it from. 
I got a boiling time of 8 minutes and 39 seconds. Now turning the, the stand upside down like the beep opper said, I got a boil time of 4 minutes and 55 seconds. That's like 3 minutes savings, almost half the time. Hmm. What a... Don't believe that. Wow. Okay, well, thanks, Bebopper. You may have a good idea here. It, I mean, it seems to be. I'm flabbergasted. So, <clears throat> all I can say is everybody that's using the stand the other way, wow, that's hot. It still wicks. This is telling me that even after it's been setting here, that's reading 135 degrees. If you see where the dot is, 134, it's going down. The pot stand is still wicking, but I guess there's no way to get away from that. But it cut the time by almost four minutes. Hmm. Okay, again, thank you, Bebopper. And like I've, oh, I always say, I look forward to people's input, their questions, remarks, helpful suggestions like this. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now. No, you've been a good friend. Nothing was taken then.